Hey, this is Matt from Mad Boosting. And right here I've got this 2002 Ford Taurus, but it works for other years too. This engine is the 3.0 liter V6 with overhead valves. And I've been looking all over the internet for videos on how to pull the pistons out without pulling the engine. Well, my philosophy is if you can get the oil pan off, you can undo the rod bolts and push the piston and rod assemblies out, which I did. So that is the answer to the question. Look down here, you'll see that I pulled the pistons out and I started pulling this piston out because the pistons, the rings are sealed to the pistons. They're basically so heat scored that they became part of the piston and the rings are destroyed and the pistons are scratched. So I wanted to figure out how to get the pistons out and rehone all the bores, rehone them all smooth and put new pistons in with new rings and new bearings without having to pull this complicated transaxle out. Well, I figured it out. See, there's a piston out, piston out. There's a piston out, piston out, piston get ready to go out. And I'll show you how to remove it on this one. So first you remove the oil pan, which I did. Now, there's other stuff you have to remove too, before you can get to this point. You have to remove both the heads, and there's plenty of videos out there on how to remove the heads from the Taurus 3 liter engine. So, now once you got the heads off, and you have the oil pan off, then what's left is removing, removing the connecting rods. So you turn the crank over, Okay, see those rods right, rod bolts right there? Right here. One and two. I remove those rod bolts, which I will do. Thirteen millimeter. Okay. Remove these rod bolts. All right. Once these rod bolts are removed, and you also, every time you take off a rod or rod bolts, you wanna organize them in individual bags. You wanna remove your rods, keep all your rod bolts or rod nuts together, your rod bearings together, and your rod caps together for each cylinder so you don't mix them up because each cap has their own place. So as you can see, I have rod number six. I open the little bag. See, I'm keeping track of all the parts. Now, now that I've got the rod bolts off, next step is, all right, well, you get a big long extension and you push it and kind of tap it with a hammer until the piston pops out. So, see if I can get you to see this. Pretty dang hard to do with a camera. Get under right here, and I keep tapping it until the piston comes out. Okay, what I just did, so I took an extension and tapped upward on the, or 
tapped on the piston till it pops up. And as you can see, I tapped it from the bottom and I got the piston and rod assembly out. And that's how you remove a piston from the bottom of those Ford Taurus overhead valve engines. So 3.0 overhead valve engines. It can also be done on the 3.8s as long as they're overhead valve engines. You can remove the heads. Hell, overhead cams too. You remove everything on the heads. You get the place available and you push the piston from underneath with the rod and take it out. Hope you enjoyed this video and it helps a few of you out so you don't have to pull out this huge transaxle assembly and go through all that mess just to change out pistons if that's all you're doing. Pistons and a honing. Now if you have to do the whole rebuild of the engine, I suggest removing the whole engine but if you just see issues with the piston rings and the pistons and you can hone out the rough edges, then all you have to do is a piston and re-ring and bearings. You can do that with the engine in the car, just like it is right here. You just have to pull the heads and the oil pan to gain access to all that. Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed the video and, oh, I forgot one more thing. Once you pull the oil pan out, you have to get the scavenge tube out and the oil pump out of the way. And then you have perfect access to the crankshaft, mains, and rod bolts and the rods and you push them out and there you go so you have a great day now bye bye